Welcome to this week's episode of Chelsea's Vanity. Today I'm going to go through a couple of my favorite products and hopefully you'll enjoy. The first product I want to talk about today is a Lancome lipstick liner. This definitely isn't that nasty 2003 liner where people would have like maroon and then pink and it was like a huge drastic difference. This color is nude tan and the great thing is you can put it on, it just is basically the color of your lips. You can put it on any color between a nude color, a dark color. Actually, when I originally got this, it was to go underneath a very dark purple. It's really just like a dark nude. So I really enjoy putting it under even light colors because it just really opens up your lip and it's really beautiful. This brush on the other end is nice for blending. This color is the Lancome Nude Tan. Love it goes under everything. I wouldn't do any other color for a lip liner because I think the perfect lip liner is something that can go under everything. That's this. The second product I'd like to tell you about today is this amazing Wet Brush Pro. I got it at the place that I got my extensions, but the greatest thing about it is that it literally gets through my ratty hair without any restraint. This thing brushes through, sorry, it's kind of nasty. <laughs> I don't really like to blow dry my hair, so I usually take showers at night, and in the morning my hair is absolute mess. So I've heard that a tip is to braid your hair and never just go to bed with your hair wet, but sometimes I think that's kind of a bit much. This thing is like amazing, so you can get it online. I'll leave a link below for you to get this. It's really affordable. It's called the Wet Brush, and I'm telling you, like, it is incredible. Stick it in your bag if you're hungover, doing that 7 a.m. crawl, picking up your shoes at some random tender date's house. Like, you still need it because you don't want to look terrible in that Uber ride home. This wet brush is an absolute necessity. The next product I would like to tell you about is this awesome Sephora brush. It's double-sided, so I use this side just for the highlighter. I use this side to put on any pressed powder that I have all over my face. And it's seriously so soft. Um, it's the Sephora Brush 201. Um, I love that it's versatile. The great thing is you can either buy this brush or this brush for about the same price. And so it's kind of a two for one. I love that about it. Um, it's so soft on the face. I love to do touch ups with it. And then also I like to just keep this only as a highlighter and it just goes on so softly. And I like this cut, this cut is really nice. My next favorite product is this MAC White Eyeliner. I use it underneath my eyes. It definitely opens up, makes your eyes look bigger, and it's the color Fascinating, and I love that it just goes on so pure, so white, and I always use it. It doesn't matter what I'm going to. I typically don't look as good with black underneath. It seems very like early 2000s to me, and I feel like white just opens up your eyes, and it makes you look so bright, so cheery, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So this is a great hack, it's not too expensive, and the one I had before lasted me like seven years, so I just got this one, and it's, again, it you only use a little bit every day, so it's such a good product. The next product of the week I'm going to tell you about is actually a set. So I got these products from Willing Beauty. Willing Beauty um, sent me just the cutest packaging, and I've been using it for a couple days now. Obviously I'm still pretty fresh. But they've got everything from a nourishing cleanser to illuminating daily moisturizer. They have a, an age-defying serum, a primer, which is tinted and as SPF, which I'm sorry, having SPF in your primer is like the best idea ever because it's underneath your makeup. You can use whatever makeup on top. And then also a sleepover night cream. Now I'm telling you what I love about these are, first off, there's no scent. And I like when things don't have a scent. It's free of parabens and sulfates. There's no synthetic fragrances. It's dermatologist allergy tested. I'm telling you, my face breaks out when anything touches it. It doesn't matter if it's Clinique. I have a really hard time finding anything to go on my actual face. Cleansers are really hard. My face breaks out or it starts burning. And I'm telling you that this stuff, my face has felt great. It makes my face feel so soft. And also, it's really doing a lot for just the tones in my face. I feel like it's not as red and blotchy, so I'm really liking this so far. I definitely would recommend trying one product out, just making sure that you like um, the way that it feels on your face. And then they also have, um, you can get all the products all together at 138, and it's a really, really fun product. 
Thanks for stopping by. Those are my favorite products of the week. Make sure that you subscribe and share this with your friends if you like any of these products. And if you review them, make sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.